It is 950. It had one trade with BMEA, and this one kind of worked out. I'm glad I got out of it, even though it didn't break the sub trading trend line that I had. As you can see, it's been selling off a bit. It just seemed a bit too toxic, but I do like it because it was up the other day, and the high was 3154. We opened. We had a sell. I was actually interested in like a dip buy in a morning, a morning panic uh, dip buy, but the spread is too wide right now. It's by 30 pennies. But sometimes the spread can be up to a dollar. And when it started the work, I didn't like how, you know, it just opened up really wide and the ask was very high. So I didn't get in it for that reason. And it's kind of hard to tell, but this line right here is the previous close. So it went red on the day. It found a bottom trading roughly around $30. And once it broke above it, it did make a nice move as high as $31.50. And then I was looking at it for like a symmetrical triangle. You can kind of see something, maybe not too much on this side, but definitely on the bottom. And I like how it wasn't just going to be something where maybe it can break the upper part of this symmetrical triangle, but it's also showing that it's trying to hold above the previous day close. And then it could also try to break above VWAP. So I saw multiple levels of resistance that it was looking like it was going to hold above and maybe break out and continue and make a second green day so i did buy 10 shares i don't think i had the right amount of shares but i'll check later at uh, 9:47, and that was at 30.87 so i got in it right here right around here in this green candle on the wick with all of this in mind and then i did sell three shares immediately when it started to work the next candle at 948 at 3132 which was right here i did sell a portion there but then i just didn't like it how it had a wick all the way up here and then it had a wick all the way down here and it could have continued but it just felt way too toxic like maybe it wasn't as strong as i thought it was and it was just going to do something toxic and that's exactly what happened i did sell the rest the next uh, no, actually, yeah, the same minute, but the next minute from my entry at uh, 31.03. So that was right here when I sold. And yeah, after this candle here, it sold off. And maybe it can be like a higher low or something. I'm not too interested in it anymore because it did this toxic thing. So even if it can work an uptrend later um, and do like a higher low or a double bottom or something like that, I'm just less interested because, again, it did this toxic thing. That's it for right now. I'll make an update later. I still got plenty of other stocks to look at for setups. If not, at least I did try this one right here and it could have worked out. It could have continued the uptrend and been very profitable. It is uh, 12.02 a.m. and I'm here to call it off for the 29th. And I am going to be up on the day 2 bucks and 49 cents. But I do want to know that this thing really worked out. I think I was um, finishing the recording after it did this, which was a higher low off of this panic. And, you know, hindsight 2020, it never did break the range low, which would have been this um, 30, 30 ish level. And it did hold on to it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, not just that, it broke above VWEP like what I wanted it to back here. And it even went higher. And there was a point where maybe I guess the trend line would have worked out. If I were to have traded it in hindsight, maybe something like this, and then maybe it would have gotten out early, or maybe something gradual like this, right, trying to go off of this wick as well, and that would have been a sell much later in the day at 34, which still would have been pretty nice, 34.49, right, and the best price point was uh, 35.70 or so. Yeah, very impressive. 15%, um, you know, move right there, best case scenario. And whenever it's 15% or more, I do I do say that the setup really worked out. So, yeah, I'm glad the setup really worked out. Um, hindsight 2020, you know, I never broke the range low, but I also didn't like how I was trading back here. And, you know, it's very easy to say, oh, I should have done this now that it's played out and everything, but it could have easily have just done this and then just sold off and broken a day low uh, especially with the way i've been feeling lately so yeah i'm very happy that this one worked out regardless let me go ahead and um no i'll leave that trend line right there there wasn't anything else that i was interested in although there might have been other setups i just really um was more focused on this one and then when it really worked out afterwards i didn't want to fomo 
and do something dumb and then you know trade something that didn't work out so yeah that's pretty much it for today i'm very happy to have been a part of a setup that really worked out even if it didn't uh, work right when i was in it